you. So today I am going to be doing a haul for you. It's just a makeup haul and it's kind of what I got for Christmas as well because I didn't get around to doing that video. So I thought I would show you because this year I got a lot of makeup for Christmas. But it's also a few things I've bought myself. So I'm just going to get started because this is going to be a pretty long video. I didn't include makeup brushes in this simply because the video would have been so long if I had it. So let me know... Um, if you want me to do like kind of my favourite makeup brushes or makeup brushes that I recommend. And I'll definitely get doing that because there's a lot of new makeup brushes that are now quickly have become my favourite makeup brushes. And that I don't want to use any other makeup brushes instead of. So I'm just going to get started. So a lot of my stuff is palettes. So I'm going to leave the palettes till the end because if you know me, I love palettes. I love collecting palettes. I palettes is just my weakness. So I'm gonna do all the kind of the wee bits and bobs first and then I'll move on to the palettes. So I got the Naked Skin Concealer um, by Urban Decay in the shade medium light. Now it is too dark for me. I can use it as an actual concealer for any blemishes but I wanted it as an under high eye highlighter and it is just far too dark dark. I can't speak today. It's not a brightening highlighter at all or I concealer at all. Um I'm just really disappointed in it. So I think I'm gonna buy it in a lighter colour to try to highlight with it. Um but this one I'm not over the moon with it. But again, I can use it as normal concealer so it has not completely gone to waste. Um so yeah, I just kept it in the box because I haven't really been reaching for this at the minute. Recently I got this combination. This is the Bourjois um, Ur Matte Foundation. Oh my goodness guys, I'm wearing it today and I don't know if you can tell but my skin looks so flawless with this foundation on it and believe me, it is not flawless. Um, and I paired it with this new con or primer that I bought. It's the Bourjois Happy Light Matte Serum Primer. Oh my goodness, oily skin girls, if you are watching this, get this combination because you will be matte all day this is super full coverage and it's quickly becoming one of my favorites i really really like this so i definitely recommend so i picked them two up lately and i am in love another foundation that i picked up is the estee lauder double wear simply because um i have it in a lighter color and it is far too light for me i literally every time i wear it my mom asks me am i feeling okay because i look so pale so i got this in 4w1 honey bronze and i got this super dark for when i'm fake tanned so i can wear it on night side and please excuse my really bad fake tan today i do need to scrub it off but i just have not had time so that's another foundation i picked up which i'm really loving my favorite lip combination which is my two new lip products is both mac lip products the first one is um, the lip liner in Spice. It's just a gorgeous nude brown colour and I'm actually wearing this combination today and it is, it's amazing, it's a new favourite. Um, so I got the lip liner in Spice and I got this um, MAC lipstick in Honey Love and it is matte. So it stays all day and it's just a really nice combination together so I really really recommend these. Honey Love is very like Velvet Teddy but a wee bit lighter so if you're a wee bit fair on your skin tone you'll love this it'll be perfect for you. Another thing that I picked up that has become my favourite and this guys this is the glitter that I wore in my last video in the get ready with me. I had so many people asking and it is this um glitter here. It's the Makeup Atelier um glitter in the colour Blank or um, SL04. Oh, it is to die for, guys. You need this glitter. Like, if you do not have this in your life, like, get it now because it is like gold. Oh, love it so, so much. And you can get this in um, Caitlin's Bark in the Makeup Pro Store in town. So, definitely pick that up. Another um, quick favourite, well, thing that has quickly became my favourite is the highlighter by Topshop in. Um, sunbeam it just looks like that with a few wee stars and stuff on it the packaging's a wee bit cheap i have to say i really am not fussed on the packaging but this highlighter guys like i don't know if you'll be able to see it especially over my bad fake tan 
can you see that like look at that glow oh i don't know if you can see it on me today but look at that glow on my hand like gorgeous i think it's like nine or ten pounds and you need to pick this up like if you do not have this get it it's a gorgeous eyeshadow a gorgeous eyebrow um or under highlight and a gorgeous actual highlight so definitely pick this up it's so worth it two blushers that i have picked up lately is the so eva luxe color blush and i got it in the shade rush rush and last love I still have the in the, the boxes because I have haven't got to try these properly. The packaging is super cute and super sleek. Just says Soeva on it, and then this is Rush Rush, a gorgeous pink um blush, and the formulation of these are really really nice. So um I got mine off Beauty Bay along with another purchase that I'll show you in a minute. I done like kind of an insta haul on it so you might recognize these but i thought i would include them because they're new and this is in last love again the same packaging and to be honest this is a peachy color with kind of specks of gold through it not my typical typical color and it did look darker on the website on the swatches and stuff so was a wee bit disappointed with this but I think it could be nice on especially during the summer just give you a wee hint of gold glow and um a wee bit of a peachy undertone so I think that'll be nice too um so yeah and the last um kind of single product that I got is the Chanel Soli Tan de Chanel um I think it's just all in the one color it's just a, a universal bronzer um and it comes in the wee packaging with the lid i think this was like 32 pounds or something now i have not got a, a massive try out of this yet because i i'm not i don't I, I might be using it wrong like please tell me if um i am because at the minute i'm not impressed i find that it is well if you put it on over your foundation it takes your foundation off if you put it underneath your foundation your foundation covers it like i'm so disappointed because i really wanted to like this but if you use it a certain way that makes it work good for you please let me know because i would love this to work for me because i've heard so much about it and it was kind of expensive as well for a bronzer although you get a lot of product in it so let me know what you think or what way i should try to apply it with because at the minute i'm a wee bit disappointed um but I know some people it's like their holy grail so please let me know. Okay so I'm on to palettes now. Um, the latest thing I picked up which I picked up with the Sueva blushes is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Con or Cream Contour Kit in the shade Fair. So you've got, let me try to go through these. I think this is right or no. So you've got Soft Light Luster in the middle oh other middle in the middle and soft light no i'm so confused yes fair okay so soft light luster and fair then you've got fawn shadow and mink yeah that's it now it's back to front and the back so you have to kind of swap it over um, I've had a bit of a go with these. I actually really like them so far, although I do find they work better when they're warmed up. So I actually get my hair dryer and like run it over for like five seconds and then use them because I think they go a wee bit stiff sitting here. Um, so that's how I use them. I just get my hair dryer, run it over them uh, for literally five seconds and then they work like amazingly. Um, they're all very, very thick. So the under eye, if you're highlighting the under with the colours under your eyes, they are very very thick um so if you're crease easy it mightn't be perfect for you but luckily i don't um unless you obviously smooth it out and set it straight away then they'll be fine um yeah i think the colors are a lot better the other palettes that they had out they were very very orange um which who wants orange contour so these are a lot better and i do recommend it actually okay another palette that i got is the soeva coco blend palette and um, my best friend becca bought me this for part of my christmas present and ugh, look at them colors like guys um, so so beautiful they are they blend amazingly and the colors are just it's just kind of like a perfect palette i think she also got this off beauty bay so i do know that you can order it off there too um 
it's just got your kind of perfect transition colors, highlight colors, bronze colors. Um, yeah, I really, really like it. Um, and it says selected with love. Although, one thing they could have improved is there should have been a mirror here, like come off it. Like, I, I don't understand that, but really gorgeous palette and I definitely recommend this. Okay, so the next palette I got for Christmas from my mum and dad and it is the Gwen Stefani palette by Urban Decay. Look at this packaging, like appreciate the packaging, like it is gorgeous and the back's like all gold and oh, just gorgeous. And what I love is it comes with a massive mirror. Oh, you can see my setup. Massive mirror. It says magic's in the makeup and on the mirror, which I think is so nice. Um, I don't want the blinds, but here are the colours. Um, there. I just think the colours are gorgeous. Although the colours look kind of washed out on my camera. And um, they are just absolutely gorgeous. Like, really, really nice blend of the shadows. A few of my favourites are pop punk that danger blue looks out of this world i haven't used that one yet but i am excited to try it um and then they have the perfect mattes in it like i always find urban decay matte shadows are just amazing they're perfect to blend and yeah so i think this is a really fun palette i really like the colors gwen stefani has picked out um in the palette and of course the packaging who doesn't love the packaging Okay, so next I have two palettes that I am so excited about. I have Tartlet by Tarte and I have Tartlet in Bloom by Tarte. Brother and si well, I say this is a brother and this is a sister because this is all pinks and stuff, but I really love them. So I'll go for the Tartlet palette first. Um, but that is the colours of the Tartlet, the first edition, which I think are really nice. Every single one of them is matte. You have no shimmers in this palette. So if you're a matte girl, you will really, really love this. The colours blend seamlessly, absolutely seamlessly. And what I love, the way Tarte, Tarte has done for their Tarte palettes, you kind of have your highlight colour, your transition colour, your crease colour, and then the outer corner to deepen everything up. I love how they do that. I think it's a really clever idea. Um, the back's just shiny and it's a gorgeous palette. However, moving on to Tartlet number two, as I call it. It's in gold packaging. This is in silver. Um... Well, it's like a silver gold. I personally prefer this one um, simply because, well, one, the packaging is to die for, and two, you have a mixture of shimmers and, um, and mattes. So again, you've got the idea of your highlight shade, your transition shade, your crease shade, and your outer corner shade. Um, they're just gorgeous colours, and the shimmers are stunning. Like, See, because some of the shimmers are on the first row of colours, I use that as a, as a lid shade, which I love. Um, I just love this palette, and I think if you haven't picked it up, you definitely, definitely should. The packaging is just to die for, but if you're a matte girl, you'll love this one, or guy, you'll love this one. And if you like a mix of both, you will love this one. Um, I got this from America from my friend along with a few other ones. So I got this off Sephora, um, although I know QVC do it now in a few other places. So I got this and then I got this one off QVC for $34.99 or something and then you pay for postage but you got a free eyeshadow tart brush with it which I thought was really nice. So if you're looking for this you can get it off QVC at a really decent price. Another tart um, item that I got, which I got from Sephora from America. My friend lives in America. So I made a big order of Sephora um, and Morphe. I got loads of brushes and sent them to her house. And then when she came home for Christmas, um, she brought it all with her. So it was perfect ready for customs. So I got the Amazonian Clay Blush Palette in Bling It On. Like, look at that packaging. <gasps> Gorgeous. Um, and then you get a mirror, which is just perfect. And then you get the blushes. Now, look at this blush palette. Sorry, I keep looking down here because it's got my computer connected. But, or my MacBook, sorry. Um, this blush palette is the perfect blush palette. You have your dark blushes, your brighter blushes, your peachy blush. Oh, I just love it so much. Um, 
I really, really recommend it. Although I think this is a limited edition one. Correct me if I'm wrong. But if you haven't got your hands on this, please order it because it is just stunning. Um, I also got the Too Faced Bon Bon palette. My boyfriend got me this along with a few other things. Um, you get 16 colours in it um, and this is the Chocolate Bon Bon palette which is number 3 of their chocolate bar range. I have the other two. How adorable is this? Excuse the mirror but look at the little hearts and the pinks and the smell. It smells amazing. Um, Again, the colours blend seamlessly and um, the packaging is just to die for. Who doesn't love this? And it's made out of metal, which I love because it's not easy um, ruined. You have your perfect shimmers. You have a few mattes. You have, you have pretty much the whole collection in here. And you have some bright pops of colours too, which I've been loving wearing that bright um, pink under my lash line. I think it's perfect just to brighten up your look a bit. So I really like this. And I'm the type of person who... If I start a collection like the chocolate bar one, the chocolate uh, semi sweet chocolate bar, now the bonbon chocolate, I need to have all the collection. Like I cannot go without having the collection. So I got this. My boyfriend ordered it for me. He got me it off the Debenhams website. They do not sell them in store yet in Belfast, but they do sell them off the website. So um, just in case you're wanting this, that's where to get it. They might bring it into store soon. I'm not too sure. Okay, another um, thing that I got from America is the Smashbox Art Love Col Colour Masterclass. I, I just love this so much. So basically the whole outside of this palette, um, it's like a very thick book palette. It was designed by an artist, which I just love because it's actually got a bit of texture on it. Then it comes in like a ring binder thing, so you take that bit off and it opens up to like a book. So you get your Smashbox sign here and then in this wee handout you can take it out. It tells you all about the artist that designed this palette. Then if you open it again like a book, this is where your shadows and blushes are. So um, I don't know if it tells me how many there are. No, that doesn't. Um, what I like about this is that I can clip this one wee bit out and take it with me if I didn't want to bring the whole thick book with me. Um, it lifts up, if I can get it up there, to protect the shadows and it's got all the names on it. So you get four blush colours in each side. This is kind of your warmer side and this is kind of your cooler tone side. Um, and again, you can take these out and then on the back of the book you have your kind of ideas that you can make with each shadow. It tells you what shadow to use and where to put it and stuff if you don't know what to do. So I just think this is perfect. It's gorgeous colours. I really love the whole idea of it being like a book. Um, I think it's just a really, really nice palette and it's kind of like a collector's piece as well, which I really love. So yeah, this I got this from America also. This I got from America and I am so, so excited about this. I absolutely love it. It is the Cat Von D palette. Um, it's her, I don't know if it's got a name, just the colour wheel I think. Um, there's 24 shades in it. Um, remix from Cat's fan favourite Mid Fida Loca eyeshadow palette. Um, so it comes like this and then you slide out the side of it. And that's like the cover of it, so you have to keep that and it shows you the back. And then this is the whole actual palette that comes out separately. Um, so what I love about it is that you've got your colours in the middle. You have, how many? Seven colours in the middle. And they're all your kind of standard browns, transition shades, and of course a black. And then on the outside, you have all of your colours. So it's literally like a colour wheel. So you've got your yellows into oranges, into reds, into pinks, into purples, into blues into greens and background again so i just think it's a gorgeous palette and again it's kind of a collector's piece for me i love collecting like kind of weird and wacky makeup and to be honest see these eyeshadows they blend gorgeously they are just a gorgeous formula kat has done an amazing job with this like she does all her eyeshadow or all her palettes especially um the contour kit i just love and i just think the packaging of this is so unique and again you put it in like it is um 
kind of like I don't know what way to describe it but I just love it such a gorgeous palette and um again kind of a collector's piece okay so last but not least is my three um new favorite additions and that is my three makeup geek palettes so I got completely spoiled with Makeup Geek shadows as I'm sure you could see on my Instagram um, which is Karen under slash Cole on my Snapchat which is the same I posted it on Christmas Day and stuff because I was so excited about them and again I post stuff on Snapchat and Instagram all the time about these so I'm going to talk you through each palette so the first one which is has all my foiled shadows in them so these two rows is my foiled eyeshadows and then the last two is a mix of duochrome and a shimmer. This is called the Ultra Shimmer Palette, I think you call it. Um, it's just gorgeous. It's got all the perfect colours and again, Makeup Geek eyeshadows are to die for. They're the creamiest things ever, especially all of their... Um, all of their foil shadows, I just got a complete mind block there. All of their foil shadows are just gorgeous. I love them so much. Um, and this quickly became like kind of my everyday shadows. So there's that one. Then we have the Ultra Matte Palette, which is all matte eyeshadows, as I'm sure you can tell. Um, again, I love matte eyeshadows. These are just a gorgeous formula. Um, and they kind of have all your perfect colours. You've got some bright colours, you've got your kind of more neutral colours, your purples, your browns, your cool tones, your warm tones. It's just the perfect palette and I really, really love it. Um, and they come in the gorgeous packaging of Makeup Geek um, C palettes. And then lastly, which I have got dirty on the outside with eyelash glue, I think. Um, I have just in this plain black C palette. I have I think it's called the the Ultra palette or the Ultimate palette, and it's got your mix of mattes, shimmers, your transition shades, your dark shades. You know, it's got everything you need in this palette. And personally, I think if you were to try going to buy one complete palette off um, Makeup Geek, I really suggest this one because it's got kind of every color that you'll ever need. Um, although don't get me wrong I love my other two and I reach for them just as much as this one if you were limited money and you needed to choose I really recommend this one I just love it and it's just kind of the perfect palette because you've got your gorgeous shimmers your, your mattes your kind of eye done it so it's light to dark um, but yeah it's just amazing I really I am so blessed and so in love with all my makeup geek guys all my makeup all together I spend a lot of money on makeup as did my family and friends for Christmas and um, so don't think that I just go out and spend ridiculous amount of money on makeup all the time because I literally I, can't, I couldn't afford to do that this has been collected over a period of time and of course for presents as well so yeah this is my um kind of massive makeup haul say because it is a lot um and again if you want to find out my kind of complete I, I might do a complete set of makeup brushes that I recommend so it, you mightn't be able to buy it in a full set but I'll tell you what my favorite crease brush is what my favorite blush brush bronzer brush foundation brush contour brush eyeshadow I'll tell you what my favourite one for each section of the face is. Um, if you are interested, of course. If you don't want it, I won't do it. But if you do, um, would if you would like that, please comment down below and I will put that video up for you. So yeah, I hope you like this video. And um, if you did, give us a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.